Today's lesson is from Isaiah, second chapter, verse 4. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up arms against nations, neither shall they learn war anymore. This verse always reminds me in recent years of the good news of 1991 when the United States with allied countries brought down the government of the Soviet Union, ending the Cold War, and holding the promise that henceforth Isaiah's forecast would be vindicated and nations would not lift up arms or teach warfare anymore. Today we are joined in a competition at least and perhaps conflict if we are not careful. China and Russia Countries not noted for their faith in Jesus Christ, in God, indeed, countries that foreclose the worship of a spiritual be being. So that poses a very alarming question. Can we do better? After Toynbee says 17 generations, will we be able to at least survive and bring to the thinking of others throughout the world that trust, trust in a supreme being is a worthy framework in which to govern and to lead us to a path in which we don't seek empire or vindication of past wrongs. If we're going to make this happen, it's going to take affirming our conviction that God will lead us through this, that we will demonstrate, yes, we can compete, but freedom of the individual and devotion of our lives to a love for Jesus Christ and his mandate to love our neighbors, we can do this. Amen.